everybody what's up and welcome back to the channel and today um, we're gonna talk about a question I see a lot um, a question people talk about a lot people that I know talk about it too and so it's like your everyday carry what uh, do you carry every day um, when you get up and get dressed and, and go do your things and in this video we're gonna specifically talk about if I only had one thing I could carry every day when I got up and went out the door what would that be and what would I carry and that would be 100% hands down no question asked is a multi-tool 100% a multi-tool whether it's a Leatherman or a Gerber or some other brand you like like SOG or whatever whoever makes one it would definitely be a multi-tool because you can do so much with a multi-tool and in a survival situation if you only had one thing that you could have a multi-tool would be a great thing to have because it has a lot of things on it. It has a knife, it has a saw, depending on which one you get. It has screwdrivers, wrenches, pliers, scissors. There's so many things you can do with it, and it's just such a well-rounded um, piece of equipment. And I think everybody, when you get up in the morning, you should put a multi-tool on your side before you walk out that door because you never know where you're going to need it. I know that I use my multi-tool every day. And I'm going to show you guys a couple different ones that I have that I use. And then um, you guys can you can pick your own. Whatever you like. I'm not going to say one brand's greater than another because um, there's so many different ones out there. You just have to find one that works for you, that has everything on it that you like. And that's the one you need to get. And that's what I'm going to say about that. But we're going to start off. The two that I'm going to show you guys is, is the Gerber and the Leatherman. And those are probably my two favorite brands as far as it goes. Um, I'm going to actually show you the one that I was issued by the military when I was still in the service. I was a combat soldier. And um, this was issued with, uh, actually issued with our, um, um, I had an M4. It was issued in our M4 kit um, for using it. And I still have it today. Um, I had to replace the cutters on it. It actually has the replaceable cutters, and we'll talk about that too. But um, it's a it's a really good multi tool. Um, it served me well, and it held up really well. So I'm going to show you that, and I'm going to show you two different types of Leathermans that I have: the one I was carrying, and the one that I carry now, which I have on my side. But we're going to start off with the Gerber that I was issued. And any of you guys that have served in the military, you guys have seen this Gerber. You guys have all had this Gerber, and this has the one where you can kind of you can flick it out and it opens up like that I didn't do a good flick on the first one but you can just pop it out and it has the little push buttons right here where you slide it back in and that's a super cool uh, it's not as easy as you think to flick that thing out but that's a super cool thing and it's it's a great great um, multi-tool really works really well it has the cutters in here now if you guys look real closely hopefully you guys can see that you can see that these are replaceable cutters and I had broken one of these when I was in Iraq and um, I wasn't able to replace it I actually didn't replace it until just recently I've um, been using it forever without it but I finally bought the replacement parts and we'll talk about that too um, and stuff but this multi-tool um, served me well I mean I carried this thing for for I was in the military for just a hair under 10, uh, like nine and a half years is what I'll say. I mean, I was I was pushing my 10th year um, and I had planned on staying in. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, I actually had suffered uh, uh, several injuries and uh, it's not something I really get into talking about. So, um, but that um, ended my career and now I'm a 100% disabled veteran and that's a whole nother story that um, I'm probably not gonna get into. Um, but this multi-tool, um, amazing, amazing multi-tool. It has a lot of great stuff on here. It's got the file. It's got um, a knife. Now, I'm not a huge fan of, of this style of knife, the curved one, but it works really well. And then it's got the, um, let me pull it out here. It's got, you know, a screwdriver. It's got the flat edge screwdriver, a smaller one. And it's also got um, three different, three different, size screwdrivers can opener um just a really great multi-tool they lock in place when you lock them out this locks it into place so when you lock it out and stuff so if you want to use your knife you got your knife like that um this knife is really good i just don't i, I wasn't a huge fan of the the curve thing but it does work really well it's very functional i mean very functional for doing a lot of stuff and it's a great knife and then on the other side you have a saw which i always will tell you that having a saw on your multi-tool priceless and can do so much for you um 
one thing I will say about multi-tools that if you're going to get a multi-tool, get one that has a saw and a knife. And then you can see this has got the can opener thing and different types of screwdrivers, bottle openers, and, and different tools on it as well. Um, this was a great tool. It's a great multi-tool. Um, you can still get this. You can actually get this on Amazon. I want to say it's either 70 or 79 bucks like 69 or 79 I can't remember exactly what it is but you can actually get this one off of them but this is the one that the US Army was issuing us and this is when I was deploying back in 08 so this is the one that we were given and I still have this one it's still solid um, been great um, some people like these replacement cutters I'm not a fan of them and I'll tell you why because to replace that to buy that those two little pieces that go into that cutter it cost me $26 for that um, to get that. So it's fairly expensive to rep replace those if you break them. Now they hold up really well. I don't even remember how I broke mine. Um, I don't remember what I was cutting that snapped or whatever. But um, it's been so long ago. But that's kind of a, a, a negative on this tool as far as it goes. But it is a good tool. Um, I still have it. I still use it. I keep it in one of my packs. Um, it's still a great tool. And um, I would recommend it. I would definitely recommend it. It held up. I mean, it held up overseas, in combat, in Iraq, so uh, I, I really can't complain about it. It's durable, um, and, and, you know, Gerber makes some pretty good stuff. Now, I, sometimes it can be some of their stuff not so great, but some of their stuff really good. Um, you just have to kind of figure it out, but I'm a Gerber fan. I've had a lot of Gerber tools, Gerber knives, stuff like that, and they work really good. And this one in particular, I can't remember which this one is named as far as what they call it um, now. But um, it's super cool. And the other thing this has, this also has, when you pop it out and stuff, it actually has um, measurements right here on there as well. You got measurements on both sides. So you can actually um, like hold it up and get some in, in, inch me measurements and stuff like that. So it, it's it's a very versatile, versatile um, multi-tool and it's been really good. But let's move on to the next one and, and the next company. And, and I'm sure you guys probably know, it's Leatherman. And I will tell you right now, my personal opinion, not anything else, but my personal opinion, I think Leatherman makes the best multi-tools, hands down. That's just me personally. Um, but you can find one. There's so many companies make them and they make good ones, so um, you can't knock it. But I got to tell you that the Leathermans, I like the Leatherman cases. They hold up really, even though they're nylon, the snaps are really good. They're very durable. They hold up really well. And this is the Leatherman Wingman. Now, um, I got this as a Christmas gift, and I was carrying this for, for a, a while until I got the one that I have now that's on my side, which I will show you last. But the Leatherman Wingman is really nice. It's got a nice set of pliers on it. Um, it's not the removable colors. It's also got a pocket clip. What's nice about this one, this one's small enough that it has the pocket clip on it, and you can slide it in your pocket, and it's very comfortable to carry without the sheath if you don't want to have a sheath on your side this is a great pocket one to have and this has a lot of great tools on it um, on the one side you've got a knife and the knife actually has a, a serrated blade so that's kind of your saw the one drawback with this one it doesn't actually have a saw on it um, but you can saw with that um, so you do have something to saw with which is nice so um, it's always good to have something that has a saw type thing on it so that's cool they just combined it in the blade and then on the other side here, you actually have scissors. And one thing that I didn't, that's the other thing that I didn't like about my military one, this one here, no scissors. Need scissors. Scissors are a priority. What's really nice to this, it has this this one, if you if you pop it out and click it, it has the spring on it. So there's a spring back on it. And scissors, let me tell you what, scissors come in handy for so much stuff, it's not even funny. So scissors are definitely a priority. This locks in place too. It's got a click lock in it. And it's a super great um, piece of equipment to have. I will tell you right now, scissors, you always want scissors on your multi-tool. So you have the knife, you have the scissors, you have the saw. Um, and then I think that's all on the outside. Then we'll get to the inside. Um, this too, if I remember correctly, no, it doesn't have it. I thought this one had the measurements on it, but it doesn't. And then in here, you've got your screwdriver, you got a flathead and Phillips right there, which is super nice. And then on your other side, you have a file, can opener, and another little um, 
this has a little edge on it, a little cutter type thing. And um, just a great, great um, little multi-tool. Um, this one is very budget friendly because a lot of Leathermans aren't budget friendly. They're 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 over a hundred dollars. But this one right here, this Leatherman right here, is only sixty nine bucks. And this is a great tool. Um, I really love this Leatherman. It's very smooth opening, very smooth closing. Um, it has the spring on that as well, where th this one doesn't have the spring. Like when you have to do it, it doesn't have the spring in it. Which, I mean, it doesn't really matter, but that spring action is kind of nice when you're doing stuff. So you're not having to flick it back and forth. You have a spring in there that allows you to do it. But the Wingman, I think, is a great, like, if you're just looking for a, a solid multi-tool, this Wingman is a great multi-tool. I've carried this for a while. I still have this. I still use this one. It actually is in another little spot that I keep it just in case, you know, it's there and I have a backup um, multi-tool. So, Leatherman Wingman, um, $69.99 on Amazon. Um, great, great Leatherman. Um, and if that's if that's all you can afford, like if you gave me the option between this one and this one, I would probably take the Wingman. You know, even though this one has the saw, <coughs> and I like that saw, I like the fact that this one has the scissors. And I have to trade off the saw for the scissors. This one does have a blade that has a saw on it that I could make do with. Um... But um, I like having the scissors because the scissors come in handy for a lot of different things. So, um, yeah, um, that would just be my, um, if those were my options, I would go with the one with the scissors. That's just me personally. Um, you guys can tell me which one you would go with. I do like the big saw. I think the big saw is important. And that's why we're going to go to the next one up. Like the next step up from the wingman is the one that I carry every day, which is literally on my side. And this is to show you that I always have one on there. Now, this one is the Leatherman Wave. Now, this one, to me, is like the ultimate um, Leatherman. Now, they make ones that are even um, ha do more and more expensive. But this one is in a decent price range where it's not going to break the bank. This one's $119, and I'm getting ready to sneeze. <coughs> 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 <laughs> all right okay back to the leatherman after my crazy sneezing but this is the leatherman wave and i love this multi-tool this is a step up from this leatherman i mean no excuse me yeah this is the leatherman wave this one is the wingman I, I'm, I'm trying to so the wave is a step up from the wingman. Let me get back on track here after that crazy sneezing. And this one is awesome. What's really nice, I'm a left-handed guy, but if you're a right-handed guy, I mean, you can easily flick it out like that. But I can do that left-handed as well. I can put that knife back in there. And I kind of just use my other, my, my middle finger to kind of get it started, and then I can hit it with a thumb, and you just click it right out. And you can do that with all of these, actually. They're really easy to do. But it's nice to be able to flick that out. But this has a nice straight blade on it. No charade, which I like better. I, I prefer not to have a straight blade. Um, I used to be a straight blade guy, but now I, I prefer the straight one. And then on this side, you've got a really nice saw. So you get the, the the straight blade and you get a great saw. And this saw, man, this you'd be surprised what you can cut with this saw. But you can do a lot with that. And that's why I like this, because this not only has the saw, but this also has the scissors on it as well which is super, super nice that you get um, you get the knife and you get the saw and then you get in here into this part of it. And let me dig out all this stuff. So right here, pull this one out and then you got your scissors with the spring. And then you've got, let me pull this one out and pull this one. I'm trying to get them all out. You got a little um, small screwed flathead, and then you got a larger flathead. You got your scissors, and then on this side, you've got your bottle opener, and, and this can cut into a can as well for a can opener, bottle opener, and you've got your Phillips head as well. And then on that side, you have here, we'll open this up, you have... If it'll let me do it. Nope, it, you can't pull those when you have those open. 
Ouch. Pinched myself. Anyway, you have all those tools on the inside. So you've got your Phillips head, flat head, scissors, bottle opener, can opener, um, two different sides of that. You got a knife and you've got your saw and then you got your pliers. Now this one does have the replacement cutters. If you look right here, it does have the replacement cutters on it. I haven't looked to see what those cost. But um, it's got the, the nice um, pliers on it as well. And just this one, I think, is, for me, is the, the ultimate when it comes to uh, to these um, tools. And every one of these locks in place really nice, so you can't move it. And then there's a button right there that you push to release the lock and put those back into place. And then close it up again, like so. And this one, the Wave... Um, is is just awesome awesome uh, Leatherman this thing runs hundred and nineteen dollars just so you know that's on Amazon um, but I just upgraded from this one the wingman to the wave and a reason why I did that was because I wanted the saw and I wanted the scissors and so that's why I went ahead and upgraded this and and I carry this every day so for Every, for the every day that I get up, um, this is what I, I carry. I carry some other things. Um, if you guys want to see a video of, of everything that I put in my pockets and put on me when I get up during the day, um, let me know down in the comments, and I'll show you what I carry every day because I not only have this. Um, there's a few other items that I carry every day, including some, some knives, and um, there's some things that I just feel that you should have on you every day when you get up and go do something because you never know what's going to happen out there even when you guys are out there fishing or if you're out there hunting there's just certain things you need to put in your pocket um just to be prepared, better prepared because any of you guys know i've been out fishing i flipped kayaks over i've been in situations where i needed certain things and i was glad that i carried those things so i have specifics that i carry every day but like i said if i only had one choice of one thing that i could carry every day it would be a multi-tool and you guys can decide which ones you like. And and down in the comments below, tell me what is your favorite multi-tool. Or what, if you carry a multi-tool, which one you carry and which ones you like. Um, these are my preferences. Um, they're the ones that I've used the most um, and stuff. I haven't tried like uh, SOGS and, and a couple other different ones out there. Um, just because I haven't had the opportunity. But... Um, I'm a, I'm a big Leatherman fan and, um, Leatherman is kind of my go-tos now. And this, this one right here, if I could recommend out of these three, this would be the one. This Leatherman Wave would be the one. I think it has everything you need when it comes to a Leatherman. Um, and it's not too big and bulky and the sheath is really nice. It comes in a nylon sheath just like this one. And, um, just a great tool. So, if there's one thing that you guys could have with you every day when you get up on just your every day doing whatever you do every day and i don't care if it's if you work in an office or you work outside or whatever you do a multi-tool is is it if that's it and then and i will say this at the end i would not only carry a multi-tool but i would carry a pocket knife of some sort a folding knife or a straight blade um, for me, I actually carry a folding knife and a straight blade as well as multi-tool every day. Um, but we'll get into that. If you guys want to see what I carry on an everyday basis, what I have in my pockets, you know, on my side every day when I get up and go do whatever I do, um, I will do a video on that. So if there's enough people down below that say, yeah, we'd like to see that video, then I will make that video. So, um, but I hope this helps you guys on just talking about like an everyday carry type thing, you know, and stuff. And hopefully... Um, maybe you guys will think about that, that, that multi-tool, especially if you're an outdoors guy, if you're an outdoors guy and you obviously are, if you're watching my channel, if you're a fishing guy or a hunting guy or a fishing and hunting guy, a multi-tool, I'm going to tell you what, and there's so many situations where this can save your life from cutting fishing line to cutting out a bird's nest to fixing your reels or even fixing your gun. If you got a loose screw or something, I mean, these things do so much that, um, definitely um definitely try them out so so those are my three that um i use pretty much all the time um like i said this is the one that i carry on my side all the time it used to be this guy it used to be the wingman that i carried for a long time it was the gerber when i was overseas wingman because it was small and compact and now i carry the wave so um you can figure out which ones you like um i will say this that don't go buy some cheap Walmart special 
because you'll be disappointed and that thing will fall apart on you. If you're going to get a multi-tool, look into like the Gerbers or the Sogs or the Leatherman or something. Whatever's in your budget, read the reviews, check them out and test them and watch a bunch of reviews and see what people think and honest reviews, you know, because these are just the ones I use and I recommend these, but I, I'm sure there's tons of other companies that make really good multi-tools. You just have to find the one that works for you and that you know is going to hold up. You know, for me, I put my stuff kind of through the ringer because I need it to work. And so that's why these are the ones that I've been using. So anyway, hope you guys enjoy this video. And um, I hope this helps you guys out. And I will be doing some more videos on knives and axes and all kinds of stuff like that as well. So um, that's all I got for you guys. Um, just do yourself a favor. Get out there. Get your lines wet catch some fish and I will see you guys on the next video.